Example 13 covers a long coaxial cable which has the current flowing down the surface of the inner sphere. Inner surface, so we have an outside and an inside radius A. I should always draw these bigger. And the outside is radius B. And so the way coaxial cables work, you know, it, there was a time when if you wanted to connect to the internet inside your house or home network, you needed to have a coaxial cable. And um, we're all spoiled nowadays. Ethernet makes things a lot easier with the, uh, our, I think it's RJ232 is the, is the code for the twisted pairs. But anyway, so what you have is you have a current flowing down this way, and then you have a current uh, flowing down the opposite way. Um, the total currents of both is equal to each other. That's not a J, that's an I. So the question is, what's the magnetic field on the inside? What's the energy on the inside for a, an era, um, a section of, uh, what's the energy density per unit length? Okay. Well, the, the current on the outside doesn't create a magnetic field on the inside. But the current on the inside creates a magnetic field on the, the part in between. And we can indeed calculate that the B vector is going to be equal to u naught i over 2 pi r, whatever distance we are from the center, in the phi hat direction. Okay. So the volume density, the energy density per unit volume, basically the b squared part that's going to go into this integral over the volume. b squared is going to be equal to um, mu naught i over 2 pi r squared. And we have to, we're going to have this coefficient of 1 over 2 mu naught. Let's put that in the front. So 1 over 2 mu naught, okay? And so after some manipulation, we get a mu naught left over on the top, we get two i's, we get four eight pi squared r squared, okay? So we're gonna integrate, there's, there's some horizontal symmetry going on here. So for a length L and uh, thickness dr. Okay, so we're going to get this energy density. Um, times the length L times 2 pi r dr. Okay, and simplifying that, we get a mu naught on top, i squared on top, um, so we're going to have 4 pi left over at the bottom. The r's cancel, leaving 1 at the bottom. And then we have an L. And we have a dr. Let's move this r over here. Okay, so let's integrate. Um, so that's the um, integrating from A to B. So we're going to integrate from A to B. So the total energy for a length over L is going to be equal to mu naught i squared over 4 pi L, and then the integral from A to B of this is just log of uh, B over A. Okay? And so we can calculate our L. Remember, work equals L i squared, so L is going to be mu naught over 4 pi L log of B over A. So that's the inductance of a length unit uh, of length L. This is the work done for a length L. So, all right. This is actually a rather simple um, one to calculate. We had a lot of symmetry working for us, and uh, the integral didn't turn out to be so hard. But um, don't be surprised if if uh, you calculating L can be rather difficult um, for you know exotic geometries and stuff like that. So, anyway, hope that was helpful. Take care. Bye.